Hello my fellow geeks, I'm Mark and today on Elite Geek we're going to do a really quick test on trying the cheapest IPA I could find on Amazon. IPA has been really hard to find over the last year and prices seem to be finally coming down and I bought four gallons of this from Florida Laboratories on Amazon for $68. So it's far cheaper than anything else I could find. Almost half the price of most of the IPA on Amazon. This is some 91% IPA that I just got from Walgreens. Walgreens is finally stocking 90%, they had 70%. That's too low. You can use 90% for cleaning your resin models, but 99% should be better. This is a hydrometer. You can see the whole thing here. So it's basically a glass tube. Actually, this isn't a hydrometer. This is a hydrometer. What this is, is it tests the alcohol content of your liquids. Now this one is specifically for distilled alcohol. You may, if you make beer or wine or something, you may have one of these, but those are different. Those won't work for this test. There may be some kind of conversion. I have no idea. This one was cheap. I got this one. There's a link for this down below and all the stuff down here below. You know, how the, you know the drill. So we're going to test the IPA here and see if it really is 99% alcohol because there were some comments. Somebody said it was really 70%. Now I have tried one of these gallons and it worked for cleaning, but now that I have this, I want to see, is this really 99% alcohol for this price? So what I'm going to do is just open this up and pour some into this flask till it's almost full and then we'll try it. This is going to be simple. Okay. So I am putting on gloves for this because this stuff is nasty. Um, We'll just uh, pour this in here. I don't want to make any contact with it at all, but we'll wear the gloves just in case. So you, you could use a funnel, but this is uh, large enough that that's not really a problem. Now, all we have to do to test this is take this and drop it in here, except I did fill it a little too far. It's not going to quite fit. Whoopsie. See, this one, I'm going to move this, make this clear. We are testing this one right now, and I'm going to put the lid on here to prevent the smell as much as I can. Now we're gonna test our hydrometer again. And we're just going down, oh, it goes down Ooh, all the way. So yeah, it's it's past 100%. There we go, I'll turn this so you can see. It also has proof on the other side because alcohol is measured in proof a lot of times. In this case, it goes past 100. Now there is a uh, adjustment here. So this comes with this little sheet to tell you based on the temperature of your room. My temperature is uh, degrees Fahrenheit, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are over 100 proof. So we're supposed to subtract four from that, which after we do that is gonna put us right at 100. So that looks, looks great. This stuff cleans great. I've used one gallon, as I mentioned. It worked out great. It was super cheap. Um, I do want to test though, this is my first time using a hydrometer like this. Uh, I want to test it on my IPA just to make sure it works on my uh, cheap 91% IPA. And I say cheap is actually, cost, this cost me more per a liter, gallon, whatever, than uh, the 99% because I got it in a local store. So I'm going to take this out, transfer it over and test, do the same test with my Walgreens 91% just as a control. Okay, so that's all emptied out. There is a little residue. If I was uh, getting paid for this, I'd probably do a little more cleaning. Oh, there we go. And in this case, we're just testing. Yeah, there's a little cross contamination. It's gonna be very minor in the long run. There we go. Okay, so now we're testing the Walgreens IPA. Ooh, I almost got it too high. Oh, there we go though. There we go. Well, it says 95. So once I subtract the four that it says, I'm right at 91. So, hey, that, that looked awesome. It works exactly the way it's supposed to. I have more tests I'm gonna use this for, so we'll find out about that soon. But for now, I think that's fairly conclusive that the uh, Florida Laboratories 99% IPA, let's go back here. There we go, the Florida Laboratories 99% IPA. If you can get it, this is gonna only be for the people in the United States. Sorry if you're international, I, I, I don't know. But this is pretty inexpensive. It doesn't smell like acetone. That's part of the reason I don't use acetone or distilled spirits. Just doing this test in this room would be painful. So I try and keep it sealed as much as I can when I'm doing my uh, 
cleanup, but IPA doesn't smell nearly as bad as those other things. And this stuff works great, and it is actually what it says. So there you go. There's a link for that down below. If you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. I've got more IPA videos coming, so uh, you'll see a couple things here where I've done some more testing recently. I up using this hydrometer a couple of more times. And until next time, remember, if you're going to be a geek, all right, well, no. This time, this is elite nerd. This is, this is nerd, not geek stuff. Sorry. So now you have a glimpse of me. Think of this as a disclaimer before I claim you mine. For you'll find my flaws outweigh my talents any day. But if you're alright with that, we should be fine.